everybody, Lane here from Makers Lane. So over the past four months, I've been working on this project. It's a bust of Iron Man. So I had this sitting around my shop. So ever since I got my 3D printer, I made, this was like one of the first ones I made. It just sat there. The first one I did was orange. My plan was to turn this into an aluminum model and maybe do something cool with it. Three months ago, I finally got started pouring the bust I tried doing a method where you use plastic of Paris. And then you bake this out. Well, problem is I don't have an oven. So first I tried throwing it in the bonfire. didn't work. So then I tried to burn it out with a heat gun. That didn't work either. Then I took the propane burner from my foundry, put a direct heat on the bottom of it, and then I cut a hole in the top. baked it all out but then when I went to pour it I didn't realize how much metal I needed I ended up with I ended up with this I cut his head off to use it for different project or actually I think I might have used it for this project so you can see first pour second pour and I used the first one I used pure aluminum without any silicone in it silicon and the second one I used from old pop cans and I didn't think, I don't think I got all the, uh, the flux out and you can see it clearly did not mesh well. So that was basically a scratch. I went back to the drawing board and I 3D printed this guy. And he, I actually put a parting line on him because the big issue is anytime you have pockets like this, they don't necessarily form very well. The reason I didn't start with the sand casting first is because I didn't know how to get rid of these pockets and so I decided, or that's why I wanted to do the plaster of Paris. Since the first attempt or first three attempts failed, I ended up going with the sand casting and said, I'll just grind all this, uh, anything, any imperfections out.
done so this all in all took me about three months to make the grinding alone to because it didn't pour perfectly when I did pour this the grinding alone probably took a good solid two weeks off and on to get it perfected this was a big epoxy pour for me I actually I don't know if you can tell or see but it bubbled up some and that was because I poured too much at once so I tried to fix that and added an extra layer of epoxy to it and it covered it up for the most part. I think it gives it a kind of cool look to it. Air bubbles are filled in with white and so it kind of gives it a, a oceany look. If you like the video and you like the build, I'd appreciate the support. If you have any questions about anything I did or any comments about how I can improve the process, I'm more than happy to hear. Well guys, I'm Lane from Makers Lane. Till next time.